Welcome to the Corner Office, where we bring you the latest news from the world of commercial real estate, the greatest voices in the industry, and the corporate chats you've been missing. Let's get to it. Hi guys, welcome to the Financial Bunny TV. My name is Nicolette Mashila. I'm also known as the Financial Bunny. And I'm really, really excited because I'm hosting one of Galetti Corporate Real Estate's first podcast. It's called The Connor Office. Now, if you want to know all things business, money, investment, where do you put your money? How do you grow your money? Who should you be actually listening to? Because a lot of voices out here speaking about money, how to grow your investments. But this is probably the podcast that you definitely want to get acquainted with. It's going to bring you some of South Africa's cream of the crop in terms of just absolutely money and investments. And today I have the absolute pleasure of sitting down with a joint Managing Director of Auction at Galiti. His name is Guy Dowding, and he's actually got a famous dance. So, Guy, welcome to Financial Buddy TV. Oh, thank you very much for that introduction. I'd say my dad's not so famous, <laughs> but my great-grandfather <laughs> oh, yes. possibly is famous to some historians. Yes, yes. So, if you are sitting right now and you're thinking, who is this gentleman? Please tell us what your great-grandfather's name is so they can download, they can Google. Um, his name was Hugh Dowding, and he was Vice Air Marshal of the RAF uh -huh. in World War One. So I must tell you guys, we're going to be speaking a lot about auctions today, right? Commercial auctions. And we had the opportunity last year to go to the first auction, right? How crazy was that? Wow. It was <laughs> better than I could ever expect. It yeah. It was mind-blowing experience and i'm so glad that you took the opportunity to come and join us on that day yeah um, it was very exciting for all of us and i believe it was a resounding success and we're super excited to to continue this journey here please man i was mm. stuck in traffic at some point so we went there with my um uh, property stock file so two yes. of my guys were there already and i'm stuck in traffic but i'm literally watching this thing online and things are moving so quickly like how how yeah, do you guys get that right? Auctions, it's a very fast-paced environment. Yeah. Basically, what I like to say, it's sales on steroids. Yes. So everything is go, 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 go. Yes. And it just does not stop. And that's why we love it. It's yeah. fun and it's exciting. And yeah, that's why we're here. Here's one thing mm. I know that you love more than auctions. It is your twin boys. Absolutely. Oh, so much love for them. them. Yeah. You know, family comes first. Yeah. They are my everything. Um. Yeah, super honored that uh, I believe, you know, I feel like I was chosen almost. My my partner and I were chosen yeah. to give birth to two beautiful twin boys. Yeah. Um, it's not in our family. It was completely natural. So we are wow. over the moon and honored to be parents of such um, incredible boys. Yeah. Yeah. You guys have another auction coming up. That's correct. Very exciting. Super exciting. What are you guys expecting from it? Sure. Um, we are expecting... Nothing short of phenomenal. It is going to be our second multi-property auction. Mm -hmm. And if our first one's anything to go by, this is going to be an exceptional experience. Mm. And when you say multi-property auction, mm. um, can you break that down a little for us? Absolutely. When we talk about a multi-property auction, we talk about multiple properties okay. going up to the market, mm -hmm. one location at one time. Mm -hmm. Obviously, we like to present to the market anywhere between 20 to 30 opportunities. Mm. And that's what we call a multi-property auction. And also, uh, on top of that, it's obviously a variety of properties. We yeah. don't just focus on a certain sector. Yeah. We actually focus on national, um, anything national. So it doesn't matter where the wind blows us. We look at the opportunity. And we look at everything from commercial, mm. industrial, mm. retail, mm. residential, mm. development land. You name it, we do it. Mm. And just to give you guys a picture when he speaks about a variety. We were there last year and it was mm. block of flats. It was petrol stations. It was, you know, office blocks. How, how do you guys get that right? How do you manage to be able to have a footprint in these differing um, um, industries? I think it's very important to have a footprint, number mm. one. You mm. know, um, not one glove fits all. You Absolutely. Know, as you say, you represent stock files. Uh, we, we represent a whole bunch of different clientele. Mm. And mm. these clientele, they don't just focus on one asset group. You know, mm. we might be dealing with someone in the commercial sector. We might be dealing with someone in the industrial sector. It's also about our offerings. At the mm. end of the day, we cannot just be offering one service or one type of property to the market. Yeah. Because there is a variety out there and we deal with... The entire, the entire country and nationally, internationally, mm. you name it, we deal with a, a, a whole cross-cross of 
demands and needs um, from our clients. So mm. we need to be presenting that that um, offering to the market. Mm -hmm. And and I want to talk a little bit about the auction process, obviously mm. for somebody who's a potential customer. But uh, before we get into that, let's talk about the client. So what happens? What's the what's what what happens before? What happens in the background that we don't get to see? You sit with the client. What are the conversations that you are having? How do you advise them in terms of how to price or wait? Uh, was it called a bid opening price? What's yeah, it called? Opening yeah. bid or yes. starting bid as yes. well, we like to call it. Look, we have two types of clients, obviously. Okay. We have the sellers and we have the purchasers. Yes. Both are our clients. Yes. When we talk about a seller as a client, what basically happens from um, the starting, um, we would obviously engage with their client, find out what his requirements and needs are. We then try to fulfill those needs by offering our service how our service could obviously make it work for them and what their requirements are. Yeah. So basically from start, we would go introduce ourselves to the client. We would assess value based on our experience and property knowledge uh -huh. and information available at, at, at the time. Mm. We do, we're not sworn valuators. We don't value a building professionally, but we do assess its value based on current market conditions. Okay. We provide that feedback to our sellers. Yes. And we hopefully agree to a, a minimum reserve price that we are both comfortable with okay obviously sellers have an expectation we at the same time time need to make sure that that expectation is in line with market um, expectations yes so that would be the starting we will then enter into a sole and exclusive mandate okay where we would set that reserve price mm. it's paramount that obviously that reserve price remains confidential mm -hmm. that is the whole point of an auction that we do not disclose our reserve price uh -huh. in doing so if we had to disclose the reserve price it would basically null and void an auction. Yes. The whole idea about an auction is that there is no ceiling price. The ah, there is no limit. There's an opportunity to upsell. You can upsell, absolutely. Yeah. It's really up to the market to determine what they would, they are prepared to pay for said assets. Yes. And we can't limit their thinking. Yes. By saying that something is worth X, they're not going to pay more than X, so to speak. Yes. So the whole idea about an auction is mm. creating the market. That's psychology, actually. Exactly. Mm. So we try to create the interest and create a market around a property mm -hmm. based on its selling points. Mm -hmm. And it's really up to the potential buyers to determine what they would pay for said asset. Mm -hmm. our, our job is to get all these like-minded individuals to one location under our, our, our auction and to bid on the auction in a competitive environment. And that way we are able to extract best value for our sellers. Okay. So Nicolette has, <laughs> Nicolette, the financial bunnies has mm. a block of flats, yes. right? We want to be your client, so we're a seller. We come to you and we're like, okay, guy, we've got this block of flats. You guys say, oh, we think it's worth 2 million rand. I say, mm, but I want 2.5, yes. right? That is the reserve price that we're, di we're, we're discussing, right? Then you guys go to auction and you what 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 is the limit that you put to the starting cost? What's that called? Sometimes it depends. Auctions very much creating, as I say, the market around the property. Yes. So we utilize tools such as uh, calls to action. Uh huh. So it's really about painting the right picture. Yes. Painting the property with the right brush, yes. so to speak. What is the call to action? What is the motivation for the market to? show interest and purchase said asset. Uh -huh. So we utilize different methodologies when we talk about this, whether, you know, it's um, for sales, whether it's a liquidation, you know, a deceased estate, seller immigrating. These are all calls to action. Oh. It shows that the seller is a motivated is willing. seller. He's a willing. So we've yeah. got to paint that picture into the market. At the same time, if we don't have that call to action, so to speak, we create one by utilizing the likes of an opening bid, uh -huh. where we create the sense in the market that there is a massive opportunity behind yes, here, yes. that there's a potential that you could pick up this property for much less than, than what it could possibly be worth. So it's planting the seed in the market that there is an opportunity, that the seller is a motivated seller, mm. and that if they just spend the time, put their, their money where their mouth is, and come to auction, they could there's a bargain to be had. Oh. That is the idea about an auction. I like this. I like mm. this. I like this quite a lot. Um, of course, you didn't become a joint managing director of such a big corporate by, you know, not actually getting your feet wet. And, you know, so tell me about the f your first auction. <laughs> um, I'll tell you about the first auction I ever experienced. Yes. I think that would be a good starting point. I yes. have been doing auctions for a little over 15 years. Mm-hmm. And I fell into this industry by accident. Okay. I was 
actually just an industrial broker on the East Rand, mm -hmm. working for a very small firm. Mm -hmm. And through family friends of mine, I was invited to an auction at Inanda Club. Uh -huh. And this was probably in 2006 or 2007, thereabouts. And it was love at first sight. Ah. Exactly what you felt when you came to ours yes. um, on the 30th of November last year. It, it was exactly that feeling. Yeah. It was, there was a huge amount of excitement. Yeah. Not really knowing what is going on. You know, lo large amounts of money, you know, hands being thrown up and large yes. amounts of money being thrown around. And, you know, just this very exciting atmosphere which just drew me to auctions. Uh -huh. It was, as I say, it's like sales on steroids. It yeah. was an expedited sale. It was like a point of in sale. You know, I was experiencing brokering as a newbie to the market and, you know, you, you learn a lot and it's a long drawn out process. Well, yes. that's how I saw it. And yeah. Auctions basically condense that sales process. Yes. That yes. we could fundamentally do it time and time again throughout the year. Yeah. And, and create that end of point sale. Yes. And to me, that was just very, very exciting that, you know, we didn't lull on deals that weren't happening. You know, we moved on. We yeah. got up and moved on. You need to keep on. calling. Is this is this still, going still going through? <laughs> you know, it was just yes. basically, you know, you move from one to the next. It's very much like a snowball effect, yeah. you know. As you're processing properties for your current auction, you need to be securing stock for the next one. Okay. Yeah. And it's just this constant go, 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 fast-paced environment, which is very exciting to me. I'm. Yeah. It really suits my... My character. Yeah, so that's how I got into it. Okay, well, yeah. that is quite interesting. Let's talk a little bit before we again get into the process of, you know, from the buyer's perspective. Mm -hmm. There's, I hear there's a difference between a sheriff auction and a clean auction. Absolutely. Okay. And I think it's very advisable that we, we do educate the public yes. to what auctions are. And that's really what we are here to do. Uh huh. Auctions at the end of the day is just another sales method. Uh -huh. As I say, it's just an expedited sales method. And it, it doesn't fit all cases. Okay. Sometimes a private treaty sale works, sometimes an auction works, sometimes it's a seal bid. Whatever the case may be, it's not one glove fits all, yes. so to speak. So really, um, when it comes down to our auctions per se, we are a clean auction. What okay. that means for a buy is that you don't inherit any historical debt, oh, thank goodness. Which, is a, <laughs> a, which is a massive relief. So when yes. you buy a property, you know that you're going to get it on transfer, a clean slate. You're uh, not going to inherit any arrears in rates or outstanding electricity bills uh, or debtors accounts or anything to that effect. Uh -huh. You're going to start from scratch, a nice clean slate. Uh -huh. And that is beautiful. And that's what we, we do here. Yeah. With a share of auction, it's more obviously bank instructions for sales. And you don't generally get the opportunity to do a thorough due, due diligence. diligence on the property. Mm, mm. Sometimes the information is not always readily available. Yeah. So you might not, in the short period of time, have the information available to know that there is arrears in the rates and taxes. Yeah. What yeah. is the condition of the building? Yeah. You know, what are you inheriting? Is it hijacked? Are there uh, illegal tenants in the building? You know, what? sometimes you don't get the full picture sure. of what's actually happening. So mm. once you've now purchased it, you inherit all these de facto points, you know, mm. and it can be a, an enormous headache. For <laughs> Huge anyone. gamble. You know, you could be buying <laughs> yeah. a property that you think is worth a million, you buy it for 100,000. Yeah. But at the end of the day, it's got an arrears of a, uh, of a million rand. Yeah. At the end of the day, you're not really getting that bargain. Yeah. So it's vital that either one, whether you're attending a sheriff's auction or one of our public auctions, that you make sure that you do the necessary homework and you mm. get into it with your eyes wide open. I like that because yeah. I always think uh, when you said sheriff auction is like bank instruction, I'm like, ooh, it sounds like repossessed buildings. And I'm like, Those, you're buying people's tears. <laughs> but yeah, we'll get into that on another day. Let's talk a little bit about the process. So yes. we're a buyer. We're ready. I'm coming in with my property stock fair. I'm coming with my ladies forum, property forum, and we want to buy. Yep. What is the process that we need to go through? Perfect. So the first things first, as I say, do your due diligence. Absolutely. So we don't sell property subject. They are non-suspensive terms. What mm -hmm. that means for them is they are not subject to anything. Oh, what goodness. that means is like you don't get the, the, the opportunity post the auction to run a due diligence. Oh, okay. To raise finance. Yes. To what sell your property first, whatever yeah. the case is, you need to go in ready. a clear picture, ready to purchase, and have the ability to purchase what you are there to purchase. Okay. okay. So the first steps would be to 
obviously engage with the, the broker that's handling the property, mm -hmm. it is vital to have sight of the building that you mm -hmm. are looking to buy. Mm -hmm. So you want a range of viewing, you want to assess the facts. Oh. And then you're, with all that information, you're then able to quantify what you believe the property is worth. worth. Yes. And then you come prepared at the auction. What we, in, what we require is that you do get your finance available and that you understand what is affordable within your realm. Oh. Because, as I said, our terms are non-suspensive. We yes. require hefty deposits from a purchaser. Yes. Non-refundable deposits. Yes. So by a seller accepting your bid, you're bound by our terms and conditions, uh -huh. which requires you, once it has been accepted, to provide the balance of the purchase price uh -huh. within 40 business days. Uh -huh. Failing which, you could forfeit your deposits as Rural Corp if you don't follow through with your contractual obligations. Oh, wow. So it's really important that you know what you're buying. Yes. You, you, you stick to your ability of your purchase price and you you stick to your guns in terms of the, the purchase price that you're willing to buy the property at. Mm. Don't buy beyond your means. Don't mm. go beyond your mm. means. Because mm. Don't push the envelope. Don't push the envelope. Mm. Come prepared to bid to a level that you're comfortable with that mm. is within your means mm -hmm. of affordability mm. and stick to that. That way, you know that you'll be comfortable and the transaction can go through smoothly. Mm. I must tell you, that's how I got into, fina into yep. financial literacy. <laughs> Try to buy a house with a sustenance of clones. Yeah. <laughs> Didn't know about it. Signed this thing. A bank pushed out a grant. Um, and then I wanted to backtrack. And they were like, ah, uh ma'am, legally bound now. Yeah. So it was quite a very interesting experience because it teaches you so much. And that's why we're here, right? To be able to teach people to say, this is how an auction works. Absolutely. I think, yeah. you know, uh, without uh, the message coming across that this is a scary, yes. daunting <laughs> experience, course. like, yeah. oh my word, I'm going to be bound by the thing. It's not. It's yes. a very fun and exciting experience. Absolutely. That's really what it's about. It's about having fun mm -hmm. and knowing what you purchase. Mm. But the message that needs to be put across is that do your homework. Absolutely. Know what you're buying. Yeah. Go into it with your eyes wide open mm. and then you won't have any issues mm. that's my best advice but the thing is then that's the thing education and information makes any process easier you know we've had people Absolutely. say oh my goodness buying a car is so much trouble but that's because you didn't have information buying 100%. a house so i think when people have information then they at least know what to expect at the very least and that, we take pride in that and yeah that's really where we separate ourselves from the rest is yeah that, you know we our comprehensive sales pack that we provide to the market is yes. basically your due diligence we don't leave any stone unturned in yes. terms of what we provide to the market market it's basically a document that you can go raise finance against because yes. it's got everything that you need in order to understand the ins and outs of the property and that is our job is to provide the market with as much information to make a qualified decision so nobody's trying to trick you guys make absolutely. sure you've got all the information <laughs> absolutely not let's talk about who gets invited Sure. I mean, and I'm going to be very frank. Yep. I walked into that auction and I was like, <laughs> what secret society is this? <laughs> Who are these people? But I know you called it a public auction. Yes. So how far do you guys go in terms of putting out information about these auctions? As far as possible, mm -hmm. you know, um, within our realm, you know. Yeah. At the, at the heart and soul of it, at the end of the day, we're a marketing company. Mm, so it's yes. Our results are mm. very much driven through our marketing methods, you mm -hmm. know. It just, uh, we don't just sit on our laurels and hope that we get a result in four mm. weeks' time and people are just going to rock up at an auction. Mm. That's not the case. Mm. We need to be very proactive in our marketing space mm. and get that message across to the market as clearly and as quickly and as efficiently as possible. But I'd like to assume you guys obviously have targeted marketing that you Ab do, right? Absolutely. Because you can't just be inviting every single person. No, obviously, yeah. absolutely not. I mean, we, we, we want like-minded people, people that are property professionals, but at the end of the day, we encourage anyone that shows interest on in our properties mm -hmm. to attend an auction. And mm -hmm. even those that are just there and curious mm. to learn about how auctions work mm. to come on down. I'm, 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 I'm glad to hear that because yeah. we've got a lot of hidden gems of, you know, as I said, um, we went as a property stock fell. Mm. And obviously the power of numbers, you know, it's easier to raise funds when you're a group of people that are sure. buying together. And, I, and, and often you find that those people are quite pushed out in the market. They don't really know about these things. So... I'm, I'm, I'm now today on this podcast declaring that I'm going to help you guys in marketing on that side. We would really because love that Because it's important, engagement. yeah. It's absolutely important. I absolutely. mean, we want stock files there. I yeah. mean, that is the whole idea about it is, yeah. you know, there's opportunities when it comes to auctions. Mm. Again, we've got mm. to fall back on the fact that you've got to do your homework. Mm. Um, but we encourage anyone that is looking 
to grow their wealth, mm. to to buy properties at a, at a huge opportunity at maybe a possibly a discounted price. Mm. Come to auctions. Come experience the fun. Come experience what we're about. It's not as daunting as you think. <laughs> it really isn't. Yeah. And we're always there to help. You know, yeah. we're there to ask questions. We've got a lot of property professionals there. We've got our entire Galetti corporate culture there. And so just ask away. Feel comfortable. Share your stories. Ask those questions. I, I want to go to the one auction that you may remember where somebody's ego got the best of them. <laughs> I'm sure you've seen it. <laughs> um, I've seen it <laughs> on multiple occasions. Yeah. Um, my most recent one was probably a couple of months ago. Yeah. Where there were two gentlemen fighting it out. Yeah. And the one was sitting behind the other. Yeah. And um, every time we took a bid from the, the one guy, he would end up turning himself <laughs> around, <laughs> guessing the guy behind him, and we're like, enough of that. Yes. Man. But it actually, it, it, what was quite funny is how it turned out is they, they became such fierce competitors. Yeah. But eventually the guy that really wanted it bowed out for no other reason that he turned around and he's like, you really want this property, don't yeah. you? Yeah. I mean, you really want this. Yeah. And he kind of asked it and we'd like, generally we don't let, you know, People. don't want clients talking amongst yes. themselves. <laughs> like, don't bid, don't do that. Like <laughs> but he literally, after about... 10 rounds of competitive bidding. Sure. Um, he eventually turned around and was just like, you really, really want this? And yeah. he said, that's okay. You know what? I'll live to fight another day. You can have it. But it was, it was that atmosphere. It wasn't like, oh, I won or anything like that. It was fierce competitiveness. Yeah. But at the end of the day, you could see they were having fun. Yeah. And I really can't stress that enough. That yeah. This is why we got into it. It is, it's such an exciting uh, space to be in, really. I must, I must tell you a secret. My my people are those people, you know. Egos are very, <laughs> they fly very high. Oh, yeah. So if you guys are going to use some great psychology, bring those people into a room, you'll see them battle it out. Yeah, I'm not going to go too <laughs> much into that because I don't want to scare anyone away. <laughs> but yes, it is very much an ego-driven yeah. environment. Yeah. And that's why I say, listen, do your homework. Yes. Don't get caught up in the frenzy. Yes. Um, know what you're going to buy. And, and stick to your guns. Yeah. Um, that's that's my best advice because the environment can swallow you can up. Can swallow you <laughs> up, which is obviously what we want. Yeah, discipline. It's a it's a, it's it a discipline is. game. Absolutely, absolutely. definitely. I want to go back to that just before we we start wrapping up. I want to go mm. back to that process, the the, the 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 bidding process, and I want you to just quickly give tips. It's probably going to be you reiterating some stuff. Mm. Let's give tips to somebody who's new into this process, and they're like, "Listen, first of March, <laughs> I'm there with you guys, but give me some tips." Yeah, I think uh, I've circled around a few of them, but the most important one is do your homework. Yeah. You know, again, do your homework, know what you're buying. Yes. You know, stick to what you know mm -hmm. also. Mm -hmm. um, there's a lot of opportunities in auctions, mm -hmm. but again, do your homework when it comes to something that is outside of your normal uh, understanding. Mm. So that will be the first step is knowing what you buy. Mm. I believe that every opportunity you should have an exit strategy. So okay. always have that in mind, you know. How do you see yourself? Don't just pick up the bargain and think you're going to hang on to this. Yeah. What is your strategy? Is it a five-year plan? Is it a 10-year plan? Yes. Is it a, a, a quick in and out plan? You know, so know it's well thought out. Know what you're doing um. and, and have an exit strategy at mm. the end of the day. Mm. And then lastly, I would say that get your ducks in a row. Mm. That's the most important thing. As I say, our terms and conditions are quite strict in the sense that you know there's not a lot of leeway mm. and leniency when it comes to the conditions, mm. you know, um, they are what they are. We require hefty deposits. You need to f um, provide guarantees within a short period of time. It's non-suspensive, as mm. I say. So it is vital that you know what you're purchasing. You know what your affordability is. And don't get carried away in the, <laughs> in the, the environment <laughs> of an auction. Yeah. Know what price that you can afford and stick to that. Don't go beyond your means because mm. that could end up causing mm. trouble down the line. So strict... But not punitive. Yep. Make sure that you have a, an exit plan. I think that's important for anything in life. Absolutely. Any investment that you're going into, you Absolutely. must make sure. Um, before we wrap up and we talk a little bit about, you know, um, 
the one thing, and, and, and I always ask this question, is your advice to your young boys? So I think about it. Uh, but before we get into that last question, I want to find out, should people stick to what they know in terms of, because you spoke about a variety of, obviously, um, opportunities in different industries, mm. right? Um, let's say we went in there and we had planned to buy a petrol station. Somebody nicked it um, from us. Um, but there's another good deal in a different industry that we don't know. Uh, do we say a, a good deal is a good deal? Absolutely. Again, you know, a good deal is a good deal. A lot of our buyers uh, are crossover buyers. There's mm. an opportunity. You know, they come there, they are prepared. They, they've got money to spend. Mm. And unfortunately, they might not win the opportunity that they're going for. Mm. So they, we're all about presenting opportunities mm. to the market. And mm. as we say, there's a multitude of opportunities on that day. So yeah. if they miss out on one, they can always go for another. Mm. But again, it's a fall back onto the previous questions. Know what you're getting into. Yeah. Know how to get out of what you're getting into yeah. and stick in your lane mm. as in terms of your affordability and what you can actually do. Mm. So, you know, um, we, we do encourage cross-pollination um, to bid or whatever you want. Mm. A good deal is a good deal. Mm. And it's at the end of the day, with the information that we're providing, you should be able to make that that informative decision quite expeditedly you know yes. you could make that decision having looked through our brochure the information should be comprehensive enough, enough. Mm. to give you that confidence to to purchase based on the information that mm. we're providing so you could even do it prior you could have like your first win then obviously a secondary one and a third back like in terms of if i don't get this one then i can at least fall back on this opportunity absolutely absolutely yeah. i mean you've taken the time out of your day you're attending the auction you know you leave with something you leave with something yeah you know? you're not there just to watch it all go by yeah come spend and look, as I say, we've got a lot of IP in the, in uh, at the auctions. There's a lot of um, guys that you can chat to, um, a lot of property professionals. We're a big company. Ask those questions. Don't be afraid to ask questions. A lot of people are afraid to, to talk about and ask those difficult questions. Mm. But that's what we're here to do. We're here mm. to guide you and help you through this process mm. so that you can make an informative mm. decision. I would be amiss to not to ask this question because it came up in the first episode that we did with your team. Mm. Um, somebody said, and I think you kind of <laughs> alluded to it now, is it a big boys club? Is it? Is it? Do you have to have big bucks to be able to do this? Absolutely not. <laughs> okay. There's an opportunity for everyone, and okay. as you know, you represent stock files. Yes. And that is one, just one avenue to look at the bigger picture. Yeah. As we know, you know, it's all about harnessing the collective power. Of course. And with that opportunity, you can purchase far greater properties. Mm. I mean, to put that in the in, in in the sense of you know, if I have a hundred thousand rand deposit. Mm. It limits my ability to buy something big. True, but if there are five of us with a hundred thousand, five hundred thousand, I can afford a lot mm. bigger and opportunity. Mm. So that is just on the like, as you say, your stock file side of things. Mm. But there's an opportunity for everyone. Mm. At the end of the day, we have a variety of values that mm. we take to market. It's mm. not just your high ticket items. Mm. Um, we obviously want those high ticket items on 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 the on the auction floor. But we deal with stuff that's a million rand up to. 300, 500 million rand. Yes. So there's something for everyone. It yes. just depends what is in your affordability. Guys, I lost out on a block of flats in the last one. It was going, what, 1.2 million? And I was like, ah. a block of flats for 1.2 million? I would walk around telling the whole world, guys, I own a block of flats. All you need to do is put, <laughs> all you need to do is put your hand up. Like, oh, man, I was in the car. Ah, oh, listen, yeah. I was, and we were not registered because we didn't know the process. So we're but, not registered. <sighs> but on that, just yeah. so you know, once you are registered, there are many ways to participate on our floor. Obviously, yes. we want people to be there physically. Yes, yes. But what is nice is obviously we do attract national and international buyers and we need to make it accessible to everyone. Yes. So you can bid on the phone with one of my colleagues. You can bid via our amazing app. Yes. Download our app today. It's worthwhile. So whether you're in your car, you're on an aeroplane. You can do it. You can do it. I like you it. You really are a marketing team. And you can bid. <laughs> so... Don't be afraid. If you're not at the auction, you can still participate. I promise you, it felt like it was in the movies because I was yeah. watching this guy on the phone and he was like... Oh, yeah. <laughs> and I was like, oh, this is really cool. Guy, absolutely fantastic. Such great information, such great nuggets. Um, but I would not let you go without asking you. You have an opportunity to tell your boys a piece of advice that will take them through life. What is that piece of advice? Sure, that <laughs> is a, it's a loaded question. Yeah. Um, <laughs> now we're live. <laughs> Don't grow up too fast. <laughs> 
Ain't that the truth? That's what mommy and daddy want. But yeah. Uh, more seriously, find something that you're passionate about yeah. and go for it. Yeah. The sky's the limit. Yeah. Um, the, there's nothing you can't do. Yeah. So go out and accomplish whatever you want. And we'll always be there and be there a backup plan. Absolutely. I love that. Thank you so much. Thank you for indulging us. Thank you for your time. Thank you for your knowledge, for your passion, because I can see you're really passionate about what you do. Absolutely. I think this job is all about passion. So, yeah. But I really appreciate the opportunity, and I very much look forward to having further chats with you down the line. Absolutely. And yeah, thanks for the opportunity. Download, get involved, get yeah. in touch. Our next auction is on the 2nd of March. Yeah. It's going to be very vibey. A lot of fun, as I've said. And they have gin, guys. And we got gin. <laughs> but um, we're going to be doing uh, hosting this at 12 o'clock on the mm-hmm. 2nd of March mm-hmm. at Katie's Palace. Ooh. Overlooking the Sanson skyline. Come have a jaw with us. Come interact. Come buy some property. Have some fun. And come with your money. But make sure, I can tell you one thing. Make sure you are registered. Because you don't want to miss on those opportunities because you did not register. Is Guy Downing. He is a joint managing director of Galetti Auctions. Absolutely fantastic. Thank you guys for tuning in and I'll see you guys on the next one.